Derek here with Jcon Systems. Today we're going to have a close look at the new YoYo OTG. We noticed that it has a JST connector for a LiPo battery. It has a micro USB port, VN, ground, 5 volts, ground, 3.3 volts, ground. It also has a boot pin. It's a special pin for getting the yo-yo into bootloader mode. It has a trim pot, which limits the current going to your smartphone. It has a host switch, so you can switch from automatic or host mode. On the back side, I2C clock, I2C data, peripheral in, peripheral input output, analog in, and five volt tolerant. When we look at the P, we can locate it at one of the pins indicated by the P. We notice on the front of the silk screen it has circles and squares. The circles are 5 volt tolerant and the squares are simply analog inputs. Now let's connect the LiPo battery. Take note that you need at least a 5 volt battery. We found that a single cell is adequate when working with a Bluetooth dongle. Now we can connect it to a computer with a micro USB cable. And if you have not already, go ahead and watch our video on how to download the software. It's pretty straightforward. And powers up from the computer. Using an OTG cable, we notice that we can plug in the micro USB cable and connect it to, let's say, a Bluetooth dongle. So we open up our Bluetooth dongle and connect it to the OTG cable. And we can plug in our LiPo battery. Take note, you need to have a pretty strong battery because it's going to be running the processor, it's going to be running Bluetooth and everything. And presto, you're ready for Bluetooth. Sending and receiving. You can unplug the Bluetooth or plug it back in, depends on your project. And when you're finished, make sure you unplug the battery. That's it. We appreciate you watching this video today. We hope we've been informational. And if you have more questions, check us out at jconsystems.com and or send us any questions you have on our forums jconsystems.com forums thank you so much guys take care